Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay, ready for the action, Mariano? Ready, teacher. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay, good. Now, let's start immediately. We're gonna make the the PowerPoint presentation, Mariana. Let me see. I have a message. Give me a second. Um, okay. Good evening, Claudia Guadalupe. Welcome to the class. Welcome, Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Welcome to the class, Rosemary. Thank you, good night to everyone. Okay, my name is Javier Gomez. It's a pleasure. Uh, let me see. You weren't in the last class, right, Rosemary? No, actually, oh, right. it's my first time today. Okay, good. So, welcome, welcome. So Thank you. Your, okay, you see all your classmates here, right? Leslie, Leslie, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, Leslie. And Rosibel, Mariano. And we are a lot of people, right? And I repeat, my name is Javier Gomez, and it's a pleasure, right, to, to have you in my class. Okay, we're going to start with the PowerPoint presentation. I will give like about five minutes to, to take the attendance. So <clears throat> let's start with the presentation in the meantime, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program, Intermediate 3. Today is Monday, well, Monday, <laughs> and June 27th, right? And the topic for today is how to use would rather, how to use would rather, okay? So we'll say, what is would rather? Is a new topic? Of course, it's a new topic, but now, before we start, we're going to make a discussion, right? Remember, I always bring a topic so we can discuss and practice your English, right? And um, I'm going to start with Mariano, please. Mariano, the, the topic is animals, right? Yes. Like animals, Mariano? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Rosemary, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animal are the penguins. The penguins? Nice. Yes, the penguins. By any, but listen, did you study in Colegio Guadalupano, Rosemary, your high school? No. No, no actually no. in La Asuncion, but in Well, Guadalupano. sorry. It's because the, 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 they has the mascot, the mascot of Colegio Guadalupano is a penguin, you know? Okay. And I saw a documental about penguins. Uh, the, the name of the movie is The March of the Penguins. And they obtain an Oscar. Incredible. Those guys are really incredible, right? Okay, Rosibel. Rosibel is your first class. No, right? No, second. No, no, your second class. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Rosibel. Yes. Okay. So uh, what animals are here in El Salvador? What, you know, oh. and savage so. wild animals? Dogs, cats, oh. uh, bears. Uh -huh. But those are like pets, you know. Do you know any wild animal? For example, do you yeah. know we have pumas in El Salvador? Pumas. Um, yeah. in, 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 what do you think? In parks. In park, yes, so, of so course. Like uh -huh. We also have a, a wild cats, you know, gatos salvajes. And also tigrillos, those are mm -hmm. the, the size of a cat, you know, but those are uh, not many, right? But we have some. And do you think we have armadillos? Yeah. Yeah, right. In San Miguel, <laughs> de Garro, right? Garro. Et cetera. You know, or, or fauna, or fauna is not very diverse. We have a few animal right well, as Rosibel said we have more dogs and whatever you go you see yeah. dogs right <laughs> okay good 
Now, let me see. Uh, Vanessa, Vanessa Noemi, for you, what is the cutest animal in the world? Mm, the, the most cutest beautiful animal. For me, the, I have to use, uh, the rabbit and the pigs. Okay. And pigs. <laughs> I love pigs. You, what, pigs? Yeah. <laughs> no, oin, oin? <laughs> Oh yeah, goodness. yeah. I have oh. a lot of how do you say peluche? Ah, uh, stuffed animals. Stuff is like uh, rellenos, relleno, right? So when oh, you say okay. um, in in English, you say animales rellenos. Stuffed okay? animals. So stuffed animals. Yeah, yeah. But we say peluche, okay. right? I don't know where yeah. in Spanish, Vanessa. I don't know where the word comes in Spanish because peluche is like peludo, maybe, right? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but you love rabbit, right? I love, yeah. yeah. Listen, Vanessa, my, my favorite rabbit is Bugs Bunny. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy is really... And you know, Bugs is molestar, molestón, you know? Um, and Bunny is conejo, right? So, el conejo molestón, Bugs Bunny. So, that's a nice animal, right? Good. You can say rabbit and bunny. Uh-huh, yes. Yes, you can say that. But bunny is like more informal, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, and we have hairs too. Hairs are liebres, hair, mm -hmm. H A R E, hairs. Uh -huh. Though, mm -hmm. I don't know what are the difference between bunnies, I mean, uh, rabbits and, and hairs, but they are similar. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ever, hello, Ever. For you, do you think ever that animals were put on these planets so we could eat them? Hello, for me. Good evening, for everyone. Me. Uh, Good evening. For me, for me, absolutely, teacher, because that is the law of the life, no? And uh -huh. we needed to the other animals, we needed to eat something. I don't know. Well, Noah was permitted to eat them, right? According to the Bible. According to the Bible, uh, Noah, you know, Noé, was permitted to eat animals, right? So... According to the religion, or, or at least, uh, you know, the one that is based on the Bible? Well, yes, right? God put the, the animals so we can eat them. The problem is that some people uh, don't agree in eating some animal, right? You know that in Singapore, in, in China, they eat dogs, right, Ever? They eat dogs. Yes. Yeah. Depend, it depends to where, how do you say it? Oh. Cultura, the culture, culture, or, culture, culture. It depends mm -hmm. to the, the the side of the world, no? In, in Korea, uh, the ducks is a del, is that is a delicious. No, I might, for, 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 for them, yes. In El Salvador, you. Us, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, it's una salva, es una salvajada para Yeah, los, it's los, it's, it's uh, strange, right? But if you have visited the Estadio Cocatlan, maybe you have eaten. Dogs. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, yes. No, other animals too, like uh, uh is 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 similar to uh uh, uh the rat, but a little a little more more pig. Ah uh, uh, yes, like give me a give me a pig, something like that, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Well, there are a lot of in Australia, for example, they eat the, the kangaroos, right? Uh, yes, yes, if correct. you go to Australia to a supermarket, you can buy <clears throat> kangaroo meat. Imagine you go kangaroo to the selector, right? You say, Me da una libra de canguro, por favor. Can you imagine that? <laughs> right. Yeah, well, but there is, there is a controversy because some people think that if you defend dogs, for example, right, you must defend cows and chicken too, right? But anyway, it's it's a, a topic, a part, right? Good. Lazily, do you think animals would rather not to be kept as pets? Mm, some animals, I think, yes. Like, for example, for example. Like the dogs or cats. Mm -hmm. But some animals, as mm, I don't know. Snakes? Um, snakes. Oh, rats. Parakeets. Parakeets. Mm -hmm. 
uh, parrots. Like Some people have parrots as pet, right? Yeah, no, uh, that kind of animals, I think, uh, can't be pets because her environment uh, is, is that the correct uh, word. I understand it. Environment. I totally environment? agree. Mm -hmm. Hola. No, no, I'm listening, I'm listening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Decir environment para el, el ambiente de los animales está bien. Yeah, that's okay, environment, that's okay. Ah, Perfect. okay, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's other, and uh, the house is not good for that kind of animals. Mm -hmm. I totally agree, right? So I, I guess, you know, dogs, yeah, they like to be with humans. Yeah. Yeah. Cats too. Well, honestly, I don't like cats, but some people, <laughs> some people love them, you know. And what? And pigs? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No. But, <laughs> no. No. Listen, I have seen some video where where some people have pigs as as pets, you know. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you, lately. Uh, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Uh, listen. Hello. Do you think it's okay to use animals in a sport? You know, like horses, yes. uh, dogs. Yes, uh, it's okay. It's okay for you. For, yes, mm -hmm. it, uh, for example, with dogs, they help to hunting or, or wants to fishing. Fishing. I, I think. Do, you, do yeah. you agree with hunting, Carlos? Yeah. But it's okay. In, in El Salvador or in other countries? In, in El Salvador, I don't know exist hunting. Yeah, exists. there is. I I went and I regret, you know, me arrepiento, I regret. But when I was young, I went to uh, Berlin, Sulotan. And then yes. we, we were hunting deers, you know, venados. Ooh, oh, long, long time ago. And yes. yeah, but, but for me, personally, I, I don't agree. But listen, Carlos, in United States, for example, there is a season where you can go and hunt. Uh, yes, it's, uh, uh -huh, but but it's permit. I mean, you have you need a permission, right? So it right. is a sport. But a lot of people don't agree with with this sport, right? But for you, it's okay, Carlos. Yes, uh, okay. hunting and yeah. some some cases necessary Fishing. for. Yes. In El Salvador, for example, is very common, Carlos, the the marlin, the the fishing of marlin, right? Yes. It's a competition. I agree with that. Listen, Carlos, and what do you think about the when they have these uh, how can you say dogs fight, you know, pelear de perros? Oh, do this you agree is with bad that? idea. No, this is not. not. And roosters, yeah. kiki -kiki, you know, they they used to fight too, you know. <laughs> In the same cases, I not agree. Okay, good. You don't agree, right? Thank you, Carlos. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, let me see. The last question. I have a lot of students. Oh, Oscar Arnulfo. Hello, Oscar. Uh, Oscar, what animal would you like to come back to Earth? Well, sorry, Oscar, but you know, someday you're going to die, right? Excuse me to say that. <laughs> In, in, Oscar, what animal you like come back in, in, in 100 years you're gonna die Oscar. <laughs> okay but this is of course it is At, it not, does... not, i don't tell you to believe but imagine imagine it's true right that you come back to earth as an animal right so what animal would you like to come back to earth after you die oscar my little Daughter, she liked a uh, dinosaur. A ah, dinosaur. <laughs> okay. So you, you you would like to come as a dinosaur, Oscar? Yes. Um, uh, I I don't I don't know the the name of the dinosaur. Uh, I, I don't idea. <laughs> yeah, my, my daughter and one of my sons, they are experts with names of dinosaurs, Triceratops. The, oh, really? Yeah, but I, I'm not good. Okay. Last time, Oscar, do you know my Lucy? friend Dino? Oscar, do you Give know my friend, Lucy, my friend Dino? The dinosaur? The... 
Anda um, buscando su dinosaurio. Chilo okay. dice dinosaur. <laughs> okay, thank you, Oscar. Listen, I have a friend too. His name is Dino. I showed you last time Dino, right? Give me a second. I will ring my friend. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hello. I'm Dino. The dinosaur. Yes, I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a Dino, right? So if Oscar die, I hope you don't die, but when when Oscar die, he will come back as, as, as an animal, as Dino, right? <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. This was the introduction. I will take the attendance right now, please. Just say present or here I am or hello, right? Don't worry. Whatever you want to say. Uh, Trini? Present. Hello, present. Okay, Aminda? Aminda? Ana Maria, Carlos Membreño, Carlos, present. Okay, good, present. Claudia Guadalupe, Claudia puede usar su micrófono, no hay problema. Okay, give me a second. Ok, está bien, ya tomé su asistencia, Claudia, pero puede participar en clases. No hay problema. Necesito que participe en clases, ¿sí? Gracias. Ok, let's continue. Domingo. Domingo Alexander. Ever. Present. Ok, thank you. José Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Carla Benazir. <laughs> Carlita, Carla Vanessa, Carla Vanessa, Laisley, present, good, Leticia, Mariano, Mariano, okay, Oscar present. Anulfo, I'm here, good, Rosemary, present, okay, thank you. Rosibel. Present. Good, thank you. Sonia Yvette. Yvette. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you, thank you. Wendy. Present. Good, thank you. Vicky Dinora. Miriam, Veronica. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. Uh, Salvador, Chamba. Chamba. Okay, he's not here yet. Debbie. Debbie. Okay, I hope they, they incorporate later, right? Good night, good night. Uh, ah, Jorge Alfredo, give me a second, Jorge Alfredo, because you are not in my list. Uh -huh. I will have your name. Vamos a agregar su nombre, give me a second. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jose Alfredo Argueta. Okay, hello. Give me a second. I'm, I'm with Jose Alfredo, give me a second. Flores. Jorge Alfredo. Jorge, Jorge, it's not Jose, right? No. Jorge. Jorge, excuse me, excuse me. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores, right? Okay, yeah. anybody says hello? I will repeat the, uh, some who said, some who didn't say hello, right? Aminda, Ana Maria, Domingo, Carla, Denazir, Carla Vanessa, Leticia, Sonia Ivet, Vicky Dinora, Chamba, Chamba. Present, teacher. Present, mister. Okay, Chamba. And somebody else say present, sorry. I don't see the camera, excuse me. Who said pre present? Escuché la vo una voz femenina. Who said present? Me, teacher. Uh, 
Sorry, Vicky. I don't recognize your voice. Sorry. Your name is no, Vicky. No la... Vicky Dinara Gutierrez. Ah, Vicky. Okay, Vicky. It's your first time, right, Vicky? It's your yes. first class, right, Vicky? No, not. No, no. No. Um, you were in the first class, Vicky. Estuvo conmigo en la primera clase, Vicky. Ah, no, 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 no. Con usted no, teacher. No, no, no. Okay, good. So it's my first. Con first usted sí si es la primera. Ah, okay, good. Yes. So welcome, welcome. So class Thank today, you. we we have two students, right? We have Rosemary and Vicky Dinora today. So it's a pleasure. I repeat my name, Javier Gomez, right? Remember, I can help you in this class, of course. And also in the WhatsApp group, right? I understand, Vicky and Rosemary, that you are in the WhatsApp group, right? Is it yes. true? Yes. 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 So, so any problem you have, something you don't understand, or if you just want to say hello, <laughs> no problem. You can write anything you want in the group, right? And I regularly send a video that is not related to the class. Uh, all the course, I will send a video every day. The video is not connected to the class. For example, also did this, this discussion, right? Animals, you say. And then you say, pero que tiene que ver con el manual, este tema de animals. So you say, well, the, the thing is that I want to promote the conversation in the group, right? The, the, um, the pronunciation, you know, the way to express your ideas. And uh, these are like extra material, you know? Uh, of course, we're going to work with the manual, of course, but I will send extra material. So the videos that I sent to the group, for example, today I sent a video uh, about the month, the seasons, and the days of the week, right? So you say, ah, very easy. Well, but you can review the topic, right? So, and also for Jorge Alfredo too. Jorge Alfredo, you are in the group of the WhatsApp. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Welcome to you too. So today we have three students, three new students, right? Okay. So welcome, welcome. Now let's continue, right? Now let's introduce the topic. Uh, we continue with unit number one, the product life cycle, right? Is the life of a product in the market, right? So let me see, Rosibel, can you read the objective for today, please? Uh, I will be uh, able. I, I will be able to make suggestions about how to deal with market saturation. Good, market saturation, right? Too much product in the market. This that's the the idea, right? And how to deal? How to give solution, right? Especially for the ones that work with uh, some products. I remember Oscar, no, who works in McCormick. I, I have two students who work in McCormick. I am. Uh, I am. Okay. I am too. Good, nice. So you know you have a product, right? And what happened, yes. we, we have a the saturation of of a lot of products and nobody say, no, McCormick, no. Well, of course, McCormick is the best. But they sometimes the, the customer prefers other products. So how, how to deal with that? How to make solution for that? So today we're going to learn something about that, right? And to start, we have some vocabulary that is related to the conversation and the grammar exercise we're going to make in the, in the manual, right? So uh, I need, please, Trini, can you help me, please? Would you like to read the concept number one, please? Sales. Sales, the change of a product or service for money. I give you a product or I give you a service and you give me money. That is sales, right? Although, although, what is the meaning of although? Carlos, membreño, please, Carlos. Please, really? can Mister. you repeat me? Although, what is the, the definition of although? However, but. Uh -huh. However and but. 
For example, I say, um, um, in El Salvador, we have animals. However, we don't have uh, too many animals, right? Or in El Salvador, we have animals, but we don't have too many animals. In El Salvador, we have animals, although we don't have many animals, right? So that is the meaning of although. Feature. Uh, what is the definition of feature? Domingo, please. No, no, sorry. Uh, Ever, please. Can you read? Think and consider. Very good. So um, I figure how to give a solution for a problem, right? So it means that I'm thinking. Feature is like thinking about something, you know? Consider a situation, right? Good. Next one, please. Uh, Jose Roberto, can you help me with the next one, please? So, sorry, teacher. I'm driving, actually. Ah, you're driving. No, don't worry. Don't worry. But when you go home, just tell me, right? So you can participate. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Don't worry. Uh, Laisley, please. Can you read number four, please? Uh, the width is manage and handle. Thank you very much. For example, saturation. Saturation is a problem in the market, right? So you have to deal with that problem. You have to manage, to control, to handle, understand, that problem. Or crime in El Salvador. Crime in El Salvador is a big problem we have, right? So uh, we Salvadorian have to deal with, with that problem, with gangs, you know? All the governments are, uh, the present uh, government and, and the past government were fighting with this, with gangs in El Salvador. So they have to manage the problem, to handle, to deal with, right? Okay, number five, please. Uh, Mariano, can you help, help me, please? Number five. Invest. Expand the money with the expectation of achievement of profit. A profit, a profit, yes. So prof, uh, achieve is to get, to obtain a profit, right? Profit is ganancia, right? So when you invest, you're using your money with the expectation to obtain more money, <laughs> understand? Imagine you are selling uh, ch chorizo. <laughs> so you say, okay, I will, I will have three cards of chorizo, right? And then I will spend my money. I don't know how much do you need to put three cars of short Spanish, right? But maybe 3000 or $5,000, right? And the expectation is that you pay more money, right? Because you invest. Lounge. Uh, Rosemary, can you help me please? Lounge. Lounge, uh, they put a new product to the market and make that product generally available for purchase. Purchase, purchase, purchase yes. To buy, or, uh, you can buy the product. Debut or introduce a new product to the market, right? Uh, and make this product available for, you can buy whatever in the supermarket, in the, in the mini stores, in the convenience stores, in the public market, whatever, right? So that is lounge. Very good. Continue. We have more concept label, right? Uh, Rosibel, can you help me, please? Label. Rosibel? Okay. Vanessa Noemi, please, can you help me? Label. A small piece of paper, fabric, plastic, or similar material attached to an object and giving information about it. Good. I will show you one example, right? This is my deodorant, right? So this is the label, right? It's like a sticker, right? Look. You can move it. You can remove it. Look. So this is a sticker, right? And it has information about the product, right? You can be protected for 24 hours. I'm not sure about that, <laughs> but he said, right, 24 hours, okay? And this is the label. 
this is the label. And in back, look, more information, right? So that is a label. And you know, all the products have label, right? Compete, please. Uh, Walter, can you help me, Walter? Compete. Compete. Yes, I can. Com compete. To try to be more successful than someone or something else. Good, that's it, right? Uh, for example, what is the competition for McCorm McCormick? Is Unilever. 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 Okay, good. So Unilever is the competition. So in this case, sorry to take the example, right? But is you try to be more successful than Unilever, right? Okay, in this case. Good. Oh, uh, Pupusa Julia. <laughs> Uh, try to be more successful than Pupusia, Pupusa Juanita, for example, right? Those are some examples. Okay. Provider. What is a provider? Uh, Wendy, please help me. Sure. Provider. A company or organization that sells a particular type of product or service. Good. For example, a dog, they sell shoes, right? So that is a provider. If you want to get shoes, go to, I don't, well, there are many uh, uh, factories that produce shoes, but this is one example of, of a pro provider, right? Okay, Vicky, please, a uh, caution. What is caution? Vicky? Yes, okay, caution is great care and attention. Good. For example, if you it's it's night, it's raining, and you have to go to Los Chorros Road, right? Okay, can you imagine? So you have to be very cautious, right? You have to have a caution. You have to have sorry caution if you're driving this place, right? I imagine you can do the same if you're making competition with other provider, right? Of products. To be caution, right? Good. Any extra question? Any word that is new for you? Or you want to tell me, teacher, how do you say that in Spanish? Teacher, what is the meaning of that? Questions? Mister. Yes, please tell me. Yeah. Mister, the pronunciation on the number five. Number five. In the last yes. sentence at, at no, yes. Achieving a profit. A profit. The meaning of this in Spanish. Achieving no, is to. Achieving. A profit. A, achieving. Achieve. Yes. Achieving in Spanish is lograr, obtener, conseguir. For example, uh, okay. In your case, I I agree that you achieve a diploma, right? For intermediate three. You achieve, you obtain something, right? Okay, and profit, okay. profit, of course, is related with money, right? Ganancia, okay? Good. Do you understand the concept of invest? Yes? Invest is your, use your money so you achieve more money, right? You obtain. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Anybody else? Tell me. I can yeah. explain in Spanish if you want. No problem because this is vocabulary. Okay, teacher. What do you mean in of handle? Handle and manejar. Hand. hand it comes from okay. the, for your hands. Yes. For your hands, so it comes handle, eh, maniobrar, manejar. Controlar, okay. tratar, uh -huh. it's okay. the same meaning of deal with, right? Tratar con, manejar, controlar, eh, usar, <laughs> etc., etc., right? Okay, good. Thank you for the question. Anybody else? Don't worry, make questions. Come on, I like questions. I like questions. Feature, the number three figure. Feature, it's like eh, imaginarse, pensar, Considerar algo, for example, you say, I need to figure out to give a solution for this problem. Necesito pensar, imaginarme, 
cómo solucionar este problema. So you say, I teach you how to do that, right? Yeah. What is the meaning when, when we combine figure con oh, out? Out. Figure out. Figure out. Uh -huh. it's, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a phrase out there. It's the same. Uh -huh. El mismo. Figure out es como the... eh, encontrar una solución, pensar en, en una solución. Figure out. Some people say, figure it out. Como solucionar esto. Imaginarse, pensar como, como salir del problema, right? Um, for example, you can resolver. say... resolver. Uh -huh. Of course, thank you. Resol resolver. Figure it out. And, and, and of course, you're... You're not giving a solution, but you're thinking, right? Usted está pensando cómo hacerlo. So you say, um, I have a problem, right? So he says, eh, how to take, yo quiero tener más dinero. <laughs> I guess everybody has the same problem, right? Cómo tener más dinero. So he says, I have to figure it out, eh, the solution of this. Cómo tener más ingreso, right? Okay, good. Thank you for the question. Now, please. More questions? Good. Can and for the next, sorry, sorry. For the number two? So, number two. Although, yes. aunque, aunque. But the correct pronunciation, can you repeat? Ah, although, the, 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 oh. although. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's not, because remember the TH has two pronunciation, right? Th, 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 and the. The, the, like in father, father is the, the, the. And thank you is th, th, like tha, 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 po, you know, thank you. And in this case, the pronunciation is like a D, es como una D, como una D. So you say, although, although, right? I like this word. Also, however, sin embargo, right? However, sin embargo. Okay. Good. And the next part. Any question about this? Any word that is new or difficult for you? I can explain in English and in Spanish. Don't worry. Good. So let's continue, right? Now let's go directly to the topic. This is the topic for today, right? Would rather notice that here, for example, uh, what is the word? I oh, no, no, no. In the discussion, in the discussion, where the discussion says, do you think animals would rather not to be kept as pets? It says, would rather means preferir, right? Preferir, would rather. So in this case, it's negative, right? Preferirían no ser mascotas, right? Would rather. So here is the same topic here, right? Would rather. Look, use would rather to express preference, right? What do you like? Lichus or a dog? What do you like? Uh, depends on one or super selectors, right? I mentioned some products or some uh, services, right? So in this case, you're expressing a preference, right? And what is the form? We have would rather plus the base form of the verb. The base form is the infinity form, right? It's la forma plana o la, form, la forma, I say, la forma pelona <laughs> del verbo, right? Okay. So here we have this, this example, right? Uh, many companies would rather withdraw. Remember, withdraw is means retirar, right? Withdraw. And this is the base form of the verb, right? It's the infinity form of the verb. Okay, and say, so we'd rather withdraw the product, you know? Uh, we would rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Relaunch is another verb, it's an, a base form of the verb, right? Also, we can use contractions. Look, we say, they would rather or they'd rather. Here we can use all the pronouns. You can say I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, with, they'd, right? It's a contraction of would, would, right? Remember the L is mute. 
You don't say, wool. I will. <laughs> no, right? No, no, no. It's I would. I would, right? So I said, they, they would rather or they'd rather withdraw the product. With rather or we would rather relaunch, right? And use the contraction plus much rather for a stronger preference. So you say, oh, okay. Last time you were talking about Coca Cola, right? Uh, who said Coca Cola? Oscar, I guess. I don't remember, but there is someone in the group who loves Coca Cola. So when you say, I much rather drink Coca Cola, right? <laughs> it means that it's, it's a stronger preference, right? For example, in the case of the teacher, I would rather see, no, sorry, I would, I would much rather see Alianza, right? Albos. Right? So it's a stronger preference, right? Understand? Okay. And he said something went wrong with the R in, in the labels, right? El arte. I remember someone in the group is a designer. I don't remember who, but someone is a designer in the group. Teacher. Who, who? Baby teacher. Ah, okay, good. So do, do you see? So designers are expert in this, in the art, right? It's, yeah. the customers are problematic with that, right? But here, it said something went wrong with the art in the labels of the product. I much rather hire a different designer, right? You see? So it's a stronger preference because you have a problem. Your product is having problems, so I much rather. And green tortricas cannot compete with the low prices of other chips. We'd rather, sorry, we'd much rather lower price, right? This happened in the market. You have to reduce the prices, right? Okay, good. This is in the book class. This is the manual. This information is in your manual. But now I recollect some information to explain the meaning of would rather. Before, to say would rather, uh, I will explain two extra forms. For example, when you say I like, some of you say that you like penguins, right? Some of you say that you like pigs. Some of you say that you like dogs. So you say, I like dogs. I like penguins. I like pizza, right? So like is a verb that you use to express that you want something. It's the same that you say, I want a doll, I want, I want to be in Europe. <laughs> okay, I want or I like is the same, right? But if you want to be more polite, más amable, you want to be more polite, you have to use would like. For example, when you go to a restaurant, it's not correct to say, oh, waiter, I like this, I like chicken, I like soup, right? It's not very polite, right? It's rude to say only I like or I want. So it's better to use would like. Would like is more polite. So when, if you go to a restaurant and say, I would like the soup. I would like a dessert. I would like a Coca-Cola. I would like Petro. No, no, sorry, Petro, no, excuse me. I would like, so it's, it's more, more polite, más amable, right? And this form use an infinitive. So you say the preposition to plus the verb form. For example, I would like to eat pupusas or contraction. I like to go to Chalatenango. She'd like to sell, oh, sorry, there is a mistake, excuse me. I me equivoqué aquí, sorry. <laughs> okay, they like to withdraw the service. Okay. Sorry? Okay, good, continue. Vanessa would like to become a manager. Yes, Vanessa, it's true. <laughs> okay, so, sure. but when you want to say, okay, I, I would like this, but imagine you have, for example, if you have pupusas and hamburgers, how do you express what you want 
in two things or in three things or in more things, right? Well, for that, you use would rather, right? Would rather is the same that would like, but is expressed about a uh, listen preference. This is the clue, preference, right? You prefer between two or more activities or two or more product, right? Okay, for example, what do you prefer? Pañales hoggies or pañales el suavecito, I don't know. Okay, so two, so is it, I would rather buy uh, hoggies, right, for example. And look at the example here. You would or you would rather buy a better product. So in the group, you have one, two or three products. So in that, you, you will, would rather buy the best one, right? He would rather or he'd rather launch the product than withdraw it. Now, in questions, would you rather swim in Coatepeque or Ilopango Lake? What would you rather eat, hamburger or pizza? Notice that this is a preference, right? Okay, and here we have yes, no questions. Would you rather see a movie? Notice that you don't answer, you answer yet, yes, I would. But don't say, yes, I would rather. <laughs> yes, I would. No, no. And incorrect, right? The correct is, yes, I would. Would you rather buy a better product? Yes, I would. Uh, would Wendy rather swim in Cuatepeque or in Cuatepeque Lake? Yes, she would. Yes, she would, right? Or let's say Trini would rather eat hamburger. Would, sorry, sorry, the question. Would Trini rather eat hamburgers? Yes, she would. But never say, yes, she would rather. No, no, no. Yes, she would. This is the correct, right? Okay, let's continue. Sorry, do you have any question about this? Um, uh -huh. would, would rather is preferiría. Uh -huh, correct. Excellent. And that is exactly. Would much rather, what is this? Much the translation could be like preferiría más eh, una hamburguesa oh. que una pizza, right? Huh? So it's a stronger. Okay. It's like you say, preferiría una hamburguesa. Ah, oh, okay, good. But preferiría más una hamburguesa. Oh, it's a stronger, right? Understand? Okay. Okay, so Thank much, you. much makes the, the word here stronger. It's the preference is very strong, right? Uh, for example, I remember, I remember my wife when she was pregnant, uh, she asked me for a minuta, right? She said, I want a minuta, I want a minuta. So, and then I, 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 it was Sunday afternoon. Where can you find a minuta on Sunday afternoon? <laughs> so I couldn't make it, right? So I, I, I picked some ice, some lemon and so and say, here you have. And my wife said, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I want, I want something different. So when uh, for example, when when girls, when women are pregnant, you know, <laughs> now that you are a father, you understand that, right? That they have a stronger preference for something, right? Huh? Okay, good. That's it, right? Now let's continue. Thank you, teacher. Oh, you, you're welcome, you're welcome. Also, if you want to express something negative, so you can say, I would rather not. Remember when we say about the animals, it says, preferirían no ser conservados como mascota, right? So we say, rather not. And here we have the example, look. We'd rather not play football tonight. So something like, 
preferiríamos no jugar fútbol. But the sentence is expressed in a negative form. Look, we'd rather not. He'd rather not launch the product that we draw it. Okay? Rather not. Preferiría no. Okay? Good class. So this is, this is the thing, right? And remember, uh, grammatically, would is the past tense of want. It's something like this. Look. Present want. Past tense, would. And future will. Will is the future for want, right? And would is the past of want. So look, when you say in the present, a want, you say, yo quiero, right? And will is, yo querré. <laughs> and would is, yo quisiera. Huh? Or yo preferiría in this case, right? This or that, right? Okay. Questions, class? This is grammar. Grammar is complicated, class. It's boring sometimes, honestly. <laughs> but it's grammar, so we have to understand, right? So, now it's time to work. Uh, yes, Yvette? Tell me, Yvette. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Sorry for late. No problem, Yvette. I will take your, your attendance right now. Thank you. Uh, I get confused with the use in the incorrect form the in the negative or, donde dijo que no era correcto decirlo. ah okay good i will repeat i will repeat yes i will repeat uh, Yvette, this is when you give a yes no question right when you give yes no remember in yes no question you always have two options or yes or no are you Walter? Yes, I am. Are you Brad Pitt? No, I am not. With Ken, can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can. With the simple present, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No, I don't. So yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. The same happened with this. It's a yes, no question. So you have two options. Okay, you have yes, I would or no, i rather not, in negative, right? But listen, pay attention. When you answer positive, when you say yes, you cannot say, yes, I would rather, right? Because normally you think, ah, the auxiliary is, would you rather? So I will answer, yes, I would rather. No, no, incorrect. And the correct is only, only I would. Like when you say this, look, I will give you this example. Would like, would you like to eat pupusas? Yes, I would. It's the same, right? But I will say this in Spanish. To be clear, Ivet, uh, would like is, quisiera esto, quiero solo esto, esto quiero nada más, right? And it's a polite way to say it. It's una forma amable de decirlo. When you say would like. And then you say, quisieras pupusas? Would you like pupusas? And then you say, yes, I would. Right? But then when you want to use would rather, it says, yo quiero esto, pero hay dos cosas. Entonces yo prefiero esto que lo otro. Okay? When you say would rather. Yes? If someone make you this question and say, would you rather, preferís comer hamburguesa or preferís comer pizza, huh? you know? So you say, yes, I would. If it is, the answer is positive, right? But I repeat, do not use rather. Lo único que tiene que ser, Yvette, es que si responde afirmativo, no vaya a usarme rather, okay? Yvette, is it clear? Yes. Oh, me fui por las ramas. <laughs> Ivette, thank you. Yes. Y ahí no tendría que no tendría que decirle si prefiere hamburguesa o pizza. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yes. Okay, let me explain something, right? Remember that grammar in English and in Spanish, of course, is not 
it's not rigid, right? It's not that if you say, are you Yvette? Yes, I am. And then you say, y no puedo contestar de otra forma. Of course, are you Yvette? Yes, my name is Yvette, right? So all the languages are why, right? Son abiertos, right? So if, when someone say, would you rather see a, a movie, for example? Yes, you can say, yes, I'd rather see a movie. Or yes, I prefer a movie. Or you can say, yes, I like a movie. Understand? So the options are open. In la vida real, you know, las opciones son amplias. So you can answer whatever you want. It's not that, no, you have to say, yes, I would. Only yes, I would. No matter what happened, yes, I would. No, 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 come on. No. The language is not like that. In la vida real, el lenguaje no es así. You can answer whatever. But, listen to me. But never say, I would rather. No importa que conteste, pero nunca use rather cuando la respuesta es positiva, right? I mean, you can say, would you rather eat a hamburger or a pizza? I'd rather eat a hamburger. You can say that. But if you say short answer, pero se usa la respuesta corta, no me use rather. Así es de sencillo, okay? Understand? Um, okay. I have a question. Tell me, tell me, Wendy. What about, it? okay, what about if the, if the answer is negative? I is no, no I'd rather not. We're no, going to I see more, okay. uh, Wendy, we're going to see more example right now, but Yes, I would. Okay. No, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Okay. okay. But we're going Thank to see you. some Teacher, examples yeah. here, right? I will give you some examples. Teacher. Here. Yes, questions? Yes, I have one question. Tell me, the, tell me. In the, uh, in the question is correct, the, do you, uh, in the last, in the back, please, back a slide. Here? Here? Uh, yes, I yes. Yes. In in the note, would you rather see a movie? Is correct the, the question because it's not a, a selection what movie. Ah oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. Okay, let me tell you, right? Uh, in this case, uh, you have not decided, right? What what is your correct option? It could be to eat in a restaurant or to play football, right? So like, like, it's something like you say in Spanish, right? De todas las cosas que vamos a hacer esta noche, eh, ¿querés escoger esta opción? ¿Preferís esto de todo lo que vamos a hacer? Right? So you're giving an option here, right? So every time you see an option, eh, you are, you can use good rather, right? But if you are taking a decision, pero si usted ya, ya tomó la decisión, right? So you say, would you like to see a movie, right? Yo ya decidí ir a ver una película, así que te estoy sugiriendo, vamos, creer conmigo, vamos a verla. Ya, ya, ya está tomada la decisión. Ya no hay más opciones, solo eso, nada más, right? Okay? okay. But in this context, es que aquí no dice, ¿quieres ver esta película o la otra? No okay. siempre va a ser la pregunta así, no, 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 not all the time, right? But it's okay. open the preference, right? Pero la opción está abierta. Porque le dice que preferís ver una película que ir a comer. ¿Mm? O preferís la película que ir a jugar fútbol. <ríe> ¿Understand? So, there is an option. Y siempre que hay un, una opción, un choice, right? Donde hay que escoger sea de uno, do, perdón, dos, tres, cuatro. A lot of options, right? You can use would rather. ¿Understand? Okay, thank you, teacher. Good. Yes. Bien. Thank you. Of course, with the exercise going to be uh, more clear, right? But le va a quedar más claro. Yes? Okay. Now let's go to the exercises. Yes, here, right? Choose the correct option. Now let's start with Debbie. Ya vino Debbie. Debbie, sorry. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Debbie? <laughs> yes. No, okay. Yes, yes Debbie. Excuse yes. me, Debbie. Uh -huh. Okay, Debbie. What would you rather purchase or to purchase? Black or brown shoes? 
What is the correct option for you? Give me a second, I will do something here. And dibujar, let me see here. Here, right? Uh huh, Debbie. Excuse me. Um, Perdonen que no me he aprendido one. los nombres todavía, ¿verdad? Todavía. Okay. Me está costando aprenderlos. Ok, David. Purchase una o tu purchase. Tu purchase. Tu purchase. Ok, let me see. Let's go back. Use good rather plus a base form. Look, a base form. Purchase. You rather to buy or you rather buy, Debbie? Buy. Buy. So in this case, it's not yeah. infinitive. Yes. Uh, when it's infinitive, you use the preposition to, right? Yes. Yeah. To buy, but no, and no. Okay, now let's go back to the exercise. Purchase or to purchase? Purchase. Okie dokie. Hey, what the meaning would change? Buy, buy, buy something. Oh. Comprar, mm. okay. purchase, right? Okay, next one, it says me, I rather or I would rather. Uh, Jorge Alfredo, please. I'd rather or I rather, Jorge? Okay, so Chamba, please help me, Chamba. I rather or I rather. Okay, Miriam, please. Can you help me, Miriam? Sorry, hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Okay, please, Miriam. I'd rather or I'd rather? It's 50-50, right? I'd rather. I'd rather. Very good. Wait a minute. Wait. Correct. This is for David too, right? Thank you. Now, uh, Vicky, please. There is lasagna and spaghetti. Would your husband or does your husband? Vicky? Um, does your husband? Does your husband? Let me see. Okay, let's go back. Uh, would rather. Does rather? Mm hmm. So let's think about it, right? Pensemos lo mejor. Good rather or does rather? Good rather. Good. Excellent also. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Now, Wendy, please. Yes, he would rather or yes, he would? Yes, he would. Excellent, also too, very good. Very good, right? Excellent, right? Now let's practice the conversation. Uh, repeat after me, please, uh, with the microphone off, right? Vamos a apagar los micrófonos para que no haya confusión. Okay, so repeat after me. What would you rather purchase? Black or brown shoes? Me? I rather purchase black shoes. There is lasagna and spaghetti. Would your husband rather eat lasagna? Yes, he would. Now I need two students, Walter, please, and Vanessa, Noemi. Walter, you are letter A. Vanessa, you are letter B. Ready? Ready. 
what would you rather share, black or brown shoes? Vanessa? Okay, Rosibel, please. Sorry? Yes. Vanessa or Rosibel? Yes. Rosibel. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Me, sorry, excuse me. Es que escucho dos voces. No sé. Oh, Vanessa. 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 Okay, Vanessa. Ahead. Vanessa, no es mí. Okay, sorry. Let her be, Vanessa. Después me va a ayudar Rosibel. Okay, come on. Vanessa. Letter B, letter B. Uh, me. Letter B. Ay, creo que se me. <laughs> Give me a second. Me. Creo que se me trabó la pantalla. Le está fallando, no, Vanessa. No, no, no estoy viendo lo mismo. Sí, sí, no. No, 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 no ok. Pantalla. So, listen. Vamos a escuchar entonces a Rosibel. Rosibel, please. Me. Me, I'm the brother. Purchases black shoes. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, Vanessa ya logró controlar el, la imagen. Okay, vamos a ver uh, a la Vanessa. Estoy viendo use, use would like plus infinity. Eso estoy viendo. Ah, okay, sí, va retrasada la imagen. Uh -huh. Lleva retrasada la imagen, entonces. Sí, no sé si, no sé si, creo que solo yo. Eh, uh, sorry. ¿Los demás están viendo el ejercicio o solo a Vanessa se le ha trabado? Porque si no, vuelvo a, a compartir. Ah, Regálenme un segundo. Voy a dejar de compartir. Y voy a regresar a la presentación. Veamos ahora. Vanessa, veamos. Está viendo Choose the Correct Option, Vanessa. La diapositiva 10, estamos bien. Sí, creo que es mi internet, porque yo no veo nada. Hoy. No veo nada. Voy a, a salir, me voy a volver a entrar. Por favor, sí. please, please. Ok. Bueno, lo... <risa> Sigamos. Rosemary en Oscar Arnulfo, please. Rosemary, your letter. No, no. Aquí sería. Sería al revés, perdón. Eh, Oscar, letter A. Sí, ya. Ya, ya iba a cometer una regada ahí. I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok. Eh, eh, Oscar, your letter A. And Rosemary, letter B. Ok. There is lasagna and spaghetti. Would your husband rather eat lasagna? Yes, he will. Excelentoso. Thank you very much. Good. Now let's continue with the next one. Choose the correct options, right? So, Mariano, please help me. I would rather go or I'd rather to go? I would rather go. Okay. Sorry, let me see. It's not in Gruesa, la, la que he escogido. Give me a second. Yes, la más escogida. Sí, algo así, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, rather go. No, casi no se ve. Give me a second, please. Vamos a poner otro color aquí. Vamos a probar con el verde. Give me a second. Hoy sí. Ok. Mamen, go, right? Casi se ve igual. I'm sorry. So I would rather go to buy the products, right? Good. Thank you, Mariano. Uh, Laisley, please, can you help me with number two? Our teacher would like to show a video in class tomorrow. Would like to show, right? Thank you. Okay, why would like? Because in this case, there is not a preference, right? It's just something you like. Es algo simple y sencillamente que le gusta. Why? Porque aquí no va la palabra rather. We don't have rather in the middle, right? So you say, would rather like? No, no. Good like. And I will make the review, please. Would like use infinitive. To eat, to go. 
to sell, to, to withdraw, but would rather use the base form, rather buy, rather loan, right? That's why the answer of lately is totally correct, right? Infinitive in this case, right? Good. Number three. Eh, José Roberto sigue manejando, creo. Eh, José Roberto sigue manejando. Okay, ever, please, ever, help me, please. We'd rather see or we'd rather to see? Ever? We'd rather see. Okay. We'd rather see a comedy than go out. Excellent, also, right? Thank you. Eh, Carlos, Membraño, Carlos, please. Number four, please. Okay. Who would rather stay home and make dinner tonight? Uh -huh. Excellent. Number five, please. Uh, Trini. They rather not take their children to violent movies. They rather not take. Correct, right? Good. Repeat after me, please. Microphones off, please. Microphone off. Repeat after me. I would rather go to buy the products. I would rather go. Okay, give me a second, please. Okay, again, repeat. I would rather go to buy the products. Our teacher would like to show a video in class tomorrow. We'd rather see a comedy than go out. Who would rather stay home and make dinner tonight? They rather not take their children to violent movies. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue, right? Let's correct the mistakes. This, we're going to follow a different dynamic, right? I need volunteers. So raise your hands and we are going to correct the mistakes, the errors in these sentences. I would rather to stay home. Yes, uh, Walter, okay. Walter Omar. Ah, oh, perdón. Okay, Debbie, number two, please, first, Debbie, for you. I would rather? Uh, I would rather uh, stay home. Stay home. So we're going to, give, give me a second here. The two is plus. Okay, so we have gone to eliminate the preposition two, right? Correct. Debbie, number two, please. Well, they rather see an animate film that in action films. So we eliminate two, right? Two. Okay. Okay, thank, give me a second here, rather. Okay, good. Chamba, please, number three. Do they rather visit the musician? Mm -hmm. What is the, what is the mistake, Chamba? No, it's, I think it's correct. Uh -huh. no, 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 there is a mistake. Chamba. Okay, Rosibel, help me. What is the mistake in number three, Rosibel? After this exercise, I will take the attendance, right? Rosibel, what is the mistake?
Rosibel. Okay, so Carlos, please. And number four, when? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Ah, yes, sorry, yes. Teacher. Ya, 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 ya conectó. Yeah. Yeah. So, what uh, is the mistake? Do they, do they would rather? Mm, almost, Rosibel, almost. It would almost. like. Okay, so Wendy, help me, Wendy. Number three. We have to use wood instead of do. Excellent. Would they rather be oh. Would they rather visit the museum? Here, remember, there is an option, right? Sorry to say this in Spanish. Recuerden que aquí estamos hablando de una opción. Del museo o el cine, eh? you know? El museo o el parque Cucatlán. Eh? Okay. Good. And number four, uh, somebody else, uh, uh, raise the hand. Alguien más había levantado la mano. I forgot, sorry. Help me again. Okay, uh, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. Number four. We would you rather go with tonight? I eliminate two. Elimination of two, right? Erase, destroy two. Caput, the two, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's continue. But before to go to the next exercise, please check it out, right? In the meantime, I will take the attendance for the second time. Trini? Present. Good. Aminda? Aminda? Ana Maria? Carlos? Thank you. Good. Claudia Guadalupe. Present. Ah, ok. Excelente. Escuchamos su voz, Claudia. Puede participar, eh. Estaba en el trabajo todavía. Ah, por eso era. Ok. Sí, no, no. Sí. Sorry, sorry. Sí. Está bien, pero eh, sí está en libertad de participar y preguntar, no se preocupe, oiga. Yes. Sí. Ok, Domingo. Eh, Ever. Good teacher. Good. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Ok, good. Ya está en casita, Jose Roberto. Yes, teacher. Ok, good. Por ahí escuché a Firulais anunciando que ya llegó a casita. <ríe> Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Leslie. Present. Lo pronuncio bien, Leslie. It's correct. Oh, okay. Thank you. Leticia. Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano. Mariano. Present teacher. Okay, Present good. teacher. Hey, Oscar. I'm here. Good. Rosemary. Present. I like your name, Rosemary. So very elegant, right? No, Rosemary. Thank you. Nice. nice. Rosibel. Present. Good. Sonia Ivet. Ivet. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi. I'm here. Good. Walter Omar. Walter. Present. No, Walter. Ah, yes, good. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Walter, no problem. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Present. Miriam. Miriam. Miriam Veronica. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Salvador Chamba. Chamba. Present, Mister. Good. Thank you. Debbie. Present. Good. Lo pronuncié bien, verdad, Debbie? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo. Present. Good. Thank you very much, Jorge. Eh, Jorge, mañana le voy a re revisar para que, porque no está anotado en el listado. ¿Verdad? Para empezar. Okay. Eh, pero usted tiene acceso a la plataforma y todo, Jorge. Sí. Sí. Um, bueno, de... no hay problema, no se preocupe. Oiga, eso es cuestión de, de anotar ahí. Sí, ahí me agregué al grupo. Sí, está bien, no hay problema. Y bienvenido nuevamente. 
Carla, lo Carla creo que no puede contestar, Carla, así que vamos a anotarle la asistencia, Carla. Carla Benacir. Imagino que quizás no ha llegado a casa, Carla. Ok, good. Pero ahí está la asistencia, ahí estamos. Queda registrado. Carla. Ok. Now use the words to write statement, right? Again, I need volunteers. No. I will do something. Listen, I will take the, my volunteer at random. Vamos a agarrar el voluntario al azar, right? Look. Ladies and gentlemen, Laisley. Okay, Laisley, number one, please. Um, um, sería, she would rather to go. Okay, wait a minute. It's a question, Laisley. Look. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. so, would rather she go to the movies? Repeat, please. Would? Would rather she? Mm, would rather she or would she rather? Let's ah, sorry. sorry. Would yes? she rather? Ah, would she, she rather? rather? Sorry. Would she would rather? Would she rather? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, no. I'm kidding. Would okay. she rather go mm -hmm. to the movies? Go to the movies? Ooh, movies, I'm sorry. Movies. Would she rather go to the movies? Correct, right? Excelentoso. Very good. Now again, look. Rosemary, please. Rosemary, number two. Everyone is correct in the annoying. This order, what you rather see a drama or a comedy? Okay, wait. What? What you mm. rather, or what rather you see a drama or a comedy? Okay, wait, 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 Rosemary. But uh, do you think that something is missing here? Wool. No, siente que algo falta aquí. Wool. Wool. That's it, right? What? Wool. What will you? You rather rather see a drama see, right? or a comedy? A drama or a comedy? It's like like a yes no question, right? What would you rather? No, no, it's an information question. Yes. What would you rather see? A drama or a comedy? Okay. Excellent. Also, right now. Another big team, sorry, another student, excuse me. Jose Roberto, ladies and gentlemen. Jose Roberto, please, number three. Okay, hey, I, I try. Um, when, when would they rather eat dinner before the show or after the show before the show or after oops after the show when would they rather eat dinner before the show or after the show okay nice roberto for you you want to see my bell? Can I ver mi campanita? Okay. Yes. That's for you, Roberta. <laughs> okay. Next one, please. The last one, number four. Yvette, please. Yvette, number four. Um. <laughs> Yvette, this is not a question. This is not a question, Yvette. Hmm. No, it's not a question. It's question, not a question. He would rather he, walk on Friday. He oh, would contraction. Yes. He'd rather. He'd rather walk. Uh huh. Oh. Friday, Friday afternoon. Sorry, let me see. Vamos a apartar aquí. Friday afternoon, right? Oh, 
Okay. Let me see. He'd rather work all Friday afternoon. Okay, very good. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. Now let's continue. Don't stop, right? Don't stop. Now, circle the, the letter of the correct answer, right? A, B, or C. Oh, there is a mistake here. I gave an errorcito. Sorry, give me a second. Damn, right? Okay. Would your children rather see an animated film? Yes, they do. Yes, they would. Or yes, they would like. Would you rather go to the mountain? No, he wouldn't. No, we wouldn't like. Or no, we don't. Number three. Would most people rather avoid, evitar, right? Avoid violent movies? Yes, they'd. Yes, they would. Or yes, they'd rather. Good. Volunteers again, please raise your hands. Hands up. The teacher doesn't choose the, the student. You tell me, please. Number one, letter B. Letter B, letter B. Yes, they would. Give me a second, I will do something here. I will use this. Yes, they would. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're totally right. Yes, letter B is correct. Yes. Good. Number two, please, volunteers. Number two, letter A. Letter A. Ladies and gentlemen, letter A. Would you rather go to the mountain? No, we wouldn't. No, we don't. Okay, very good. I have two participants, sorry. Perdón que no veo los nombres. Déjenme correr la cámara aquí, sorry. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. Uh, tell me your names, please. Uh, me dicen sus nombres, que no, no lo veo en pantalla, solo. Rosibel, okay, thank you, Rosibel. Number three, A, B, or C, Rosibel. Would A, most people A, rather avoid violent movies? Number B. Number B. Okay, let it be, right? Okay. Yeah. You're nervous. Está un poco nerviosa, ¿verdad? Yo también estoy nerviosa. <laughs> yes, they would. Excelentoso. Yes. Good. And the last one. Ya. Nos vamos a ir al manual ya, ¿verdad? porque ya es mucho ejercicio. The, the last one says, number four, A, B, or C. Would Tom rather see a science fiction movie tonight? Volunteers? A, B, or C. Trini no me ha participado ahora, Trini. Dije la primera, pero esta es. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Letter A. Let me see. ¿Cómo estamos con internet, Trini? ¿Todo bien? Se oye bien el micrófono, ¿eh? Yes, yes today. Oh, bien. No. no, he wouldn't. Correct. Thank you, Trini. Thank you very much. Number five, please. Another student, please. Alguien que no me haya participado. Vanessa. Vanessa ya me participó, pero excelente. Sigamos, Vanessa. Paramos. No. Seguimos. Sí. Would your friend rather stay home on Friday nights? Vanessa, A, B, or C. Letter A. Letter A. Good. Por ahí me preguntaba Yvette que cómo era una pregunta en negativa, ¿verdad? O no sé qué me preguntó, perdón ya. Pues aquí está, ¿verdad? Si esta fuera afirmativa, dijéramos, yes, they would. ¿Ok? But in this case, because it's negative, no, they would rather not. 
No, they would rather not. This is when the answer is negative, right? Understand? No, they rather not. Would you like to eat pizza? I oh, know, would you like to eat pizza? Would you rather eat pizza? And then you say, yes, I would, or no, I'd rather not eat pizza, right? Understand? So this is the negative. Yes? Good. It's kind of complicated when you answer yes or no, right? Because yes is yes, I would, but the negative is, you know, they would rather not, it's more complete, right? Good. And number six, and we'll finish. Number six, please, volunteers. Somebody that hasn't participated too much. Alguien que casi no me ha participado, vamos a ver. Volunteers. Come on, guys. It's just A, B, or C. Okay, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Would you write, esa palabra me cuesta. Okay, rather. Rather. I will give Would you a, a clue. Rather. I will give you a clue. The TH in this case is pronounced the, the, like father. Remember the word father, mother? Yes. Father, mother, rather. Yes, rather. Would okay, now you again. Rather. Download. Would you Download. Download mm -hmm. a movie. Will you rather download a movie? Uh -huh. Excellent, David. Very good. Uh, yes, I will. Letter B, right? Letter B, yes. My goodness. Totally correct, David. Thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. You see? Whew. We finish. Grammar, 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 right? <laughs> Any question? How to use good rather, right? Any question? Come on, tell me, tell me. Don't worry. Everything is clear? Good, let's go to the manual now. Let's go to the manual. And here. Here and the manual is here, right? Okay. Let me see what time is it. My goodness, we we don't have too much time, right? Now, uh, here is page number twelve, right? Page number twelve. And he says, <clears throat> "Would you agree that your company has fierce, strong competitors?" Let me say, Ever, please. Where do you work, Ever? I work in a family company. Uh -huh. And Ever, do you have strong competitors for your company? Yes, we got a, a strong competitor okay. for the company, more big, big company. Big company, right? Company. Okay. And in your opinion, uh, Walter, in your opinion, does competition affect business negatively? Yes or no? Depends, teacher, because uh, when we have many competitors, um, we have many choices to offer good prices to the, and quality to the client. Okay, thank you. And like you say, right, Walter, that it depends if the company, your competitor is B, for example, uh, Zapatos Castaneda, right? Imagine, Walter, Zapatos Castaneda versus Adobe. Ooh. <laughs> so it could be a problem for Zapatos Castaneda, right? So, but you have to fight in the market, right? to sell your products. Thank you, thank you very much. So, and for consumers class, I guess it's more positive, right? Because if we have a lot of competitors, the prices go down, right? We have low prices. Well, in this moment, not too much because in the supermarket, everything is very expensive, but 
normally, when the, the market is normal, uh, more competitors, more low prices, right? Good. Now we're going to listen a conversation between Rina and Julio. On Friday, we have Julio, right? Por cierto, el viernes ya es Julio. <laughs> so, and then listen to the conversation. Rina says, the sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they're decreasing. And Julio says, you're right. Although it is not surprise with this competition. And Rina says, I agree. Notice that it's not I am agree. And no, it's I agree, right? Good, it says, I agree. We must feature a solution to deal with the mar with market saturation. And Julio says, many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? And Rina says, however, we have invested a lot in this product. We rather relaunch the product that discontinued. Good class. Now let's practice pronunciation. Please turn off your microphones and repeat after me. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast. But now they're decreasing. You're right. Although it is not surprised with this competition. Although. I agree. We must feature a solution to deal with market saturation. Feature. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? Withdraw. However, we have invested a lot in this product. However, we rather relaunch the product that than discontinue it. Relaunch. Good. Now I need two students who uh, practice this conversation for me. Two students, please. I need a Rina and I need a Julio. So, uh, Chamba, please. Chamba, you are your Julio, right? Now I need a girl. I need a girl. A woman. Okay, thank you, David. But give me a second, give me a second. I will introduce the, the conversation. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we introduce today Chamba and Debbie. Action. They sell in the last two months, we're growing really fast, but now they're decreasing decreasing you are right i thought it is no surprise with this competition i agree we must fig figure a solution to deal with market saturation many companies will prefer to withdraw the product you know however we have invested invested a lot in this product Will rather 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 relaunch the product than discontinue. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Ever, just give me a second, Ever. Now uh, I need a girl. I need a woman. Another woman. Ah, sorry. Congratulations to to Chamba and Debbie, right? Vanessa, thank you, Vanessa. But just give me a second. Uh, Van a disculpar que no me había dado cuenta que mi cámara estaba apagada. Eh, cuando eso suceda, avísenme, porque a veces estoy pendiente de, de ustedes que de verme a mí en la cámara, ¿verdad? 
Es obligación mía estar siempre con la cámara prendida. Así que avíseme, tiche, se le apagó la cámara, ¿sí? Por favor. Eh, okay. Y cuando les enseñé a Dino, ¿lo pudieron ver? No. Yes. No, no yes. lo vieron. Ah, pues se lo puedo presentar. Yes. Yes. Qué pena, qué pena, qué oso. ¿no? Yes. Sí, es que, es que, ¿cómo se llama? Estaba apagada la cámara y yo saliendo con Dino. Aquí, aquí está Dino. Ah. <risa> Okay, sorry, perdonen, es por el oso, ¿verdad? Siempre que tenga la cámara apagada, me avisan, por favor. Sí, thank you. Ok, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo, we have Ever and Lisa. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You're right. About it is so surprised with this competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market situation. Many company would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Good, thank you very much. Very good. So invested, right? Because it's, it's a regular bell, right? Invested. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with true or false. Remember, you said true or false. Barcelona is the best team. True. It's true. Right? For example, right? <laughs> oh, you see, Ever. Very good, Ever. Good. Aunque en este momento no anda tan bien en Barça, Ever. Anyway, so now let's go. You answer true or false. If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it. Volunteers, please, class, do you think it's true or do you think it's false? True or false? Yes, Walter? Walter? True. True. Okay. I will tell you this. This is a difficult question for me because I understand maybe the question is not formulated very well, Walter, maybe. But I understand that withdraw a product is to take the product, uh, you know, for a moment, right? And this continuous stop producing the product, right? Yeah. Then definitely the product die when you discontinue it, right? But with withdraw, there is a possibility that you take the product away, but then in three, five months or one year, I don't know, I don't understand anything about marketing, but maybe you put the, the product again to the market, right? That's what I understand. But I don't understand what they say, no temporarily. Es que creo que esta parte la que hace que la pregunta sea toda confusa. Yes? Yes, okay. So for me, it's both. Puede ser los dos en este caso, para mí. False and true. Okay, so you're totally right, Walter. Thank you. Now, number two. If sales decrease, they stop growing. That is true or false? Volunteers? False. False. Hmm. Mm, I need a second opinion. It's true. It's true. Yes. Good. Thank you. Carlos, please. Say no, number two is true, right? Okay, number three. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. True or false? I think it's true. It's true. I totally agree with you, Carlos. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's go to the drama, right? I won't explain anymore, right? I think I explained enough. So, but even though, if you have any question, class, can you tell me if you have questions about would rather?
No? Okay. Now. Teachers. Yes. So, teachers, tell me. Um, after rather, we have to put to or not? No. No, 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 no. In any case. In any case. I will explain. I say, right, that if you want something, si usted quiere algo, you say, I like, me gusta. Me gusta, pero me asusta. Okay. No, me gusta, right? I like. I like water, for example. Ah, delicious. I love water, you know. I like water. I want water. I love water. So you want something, right? Usted quiere algo. Le gusta. Simple like that, right? But if you want to be more polite, si quiere ser más amable, especialmente usted va a un restaurante, right? O, o va a visitar unos amigos, yes? Eh, you, you're not going to say, ah, mire, quiero pollo. A mí me gusta el pollo, campero. <laughs> no tiene algo. No, ¿verdad? Sino que va a usar usted algo más amable. Es decir, I would. ¿Sí? En un restaurante, por ejemplo, I would like the soup, right? So we add the auxiliary or the model, right? Would. Agregamos este would. A like. Al verbo like le agregamos would. ¿Sí? Y usamos infinitivo. I would like to eat pizza, for example, right? I would like to go to the mountains. I would like to whatever, right? Good. Entonces, esta es la expresión amable, ¿ok? Cuando queremos algo o cuando nos gusta algo, yes? Pero would rather, la expresión aquí completa, would rather, es cuando hay opciones. ¿Sí? Cuando decimos good like, solo es una cosa, pero cuando hay opciones, ¿sí? Especialmente estamos hablando del de mercado, si hay opciones de producto, ¿no? So, vamos a usar good rather y vamos a usar el base form. Aquí, el base form, miren. El base form. ¿Y cuál es el base form del verbo? Es el verbo, withdraw, en este caso un verbo, sin la preposición to. Sin la preposición, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una opción, de una preferencia, ¿sí? Si solo decimos would like, entonces solo hay una opción. Y vamos a usar el infinitivo, ¿sí? Pero si hay más opciones, entonces vamos a usar el would rather y vamos a usar la base del verbo, ¿sí? Como dije yo al principio, el verbo pelón, sin nada, ¿verdad? Sin preposiciones, sin ed, sin s, sin ing, nada, solo el verbo, ¿sí? ¿Ok? ¿Understand? Por eso les puse el good like, porque el good so like... would no... rather is two more options. Ajá, more options, correct. Well, yes, you're right. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. good. Thank you, Vanessa. Good, any other question? Perdonen que a veces me vaya en detalle en las explicaciones, pero quiero que todo quede claro. <ríe> Tal vez ustedes dirán, ah, el teacher mucho va por las ramas, pero necesito estar seguro que, que entiendan detalle por detalle, ¿ok? So, it's time to work, right? It's time to work. Ladies and gentlemen, exercise five. Order the words to create sentences. Compare your answers with a partner. So, I will let you work alone. Nos vamos a dejar trabajar solitos, right? We're going to make it in five minutes. Five minutes, right? Copy in your notebooks. Of course, copy the answer, right? Copy the answer of this. And later, you're going to give me the, the answer, right? Okay? Go ahead. In your notebooks, please. In your notebooks. Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. I'm going to take the attendance. Mientras tanto, voy a tomar asistencia de una sola vez. Yes? Thank you. Lo que ustedes trabajan. Yes? Okay, Trini. Present. Good. Aminda. No se presentó a Linda ahora, ok. Ana María. Carlos. 
Presente. Good. Claudia Guadalupe. Present. Good, thank you. Domingo. Ever. Ever de Present, Jesús. Mr. Good, good. Present. Good. José Roberto. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Carla. De Nasir. I would say Carla Lara, better, right? Carla Lara. Eh, me, ah, aquí está ya en el chat. Thank you, thank you. Present, yes. Dejo constancia para los señores de Insafor que Carlita está presente, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good, thank you. Leslie. Leslie. <coughs> Ok, Leticia. Mariano. Present. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Rosemary. Present. Thank you. Rosibel. Present. Good, thank you. Two minutes. We have two minutes, right? Llamo dos minutos. Continue, please. Yvette. Yvette. Okay. okay, thank you. Vanessa Noemi. Present, present. Good. Walter. Present. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Present. Miriam. Miriam, Veronica. Okay, good. Thank you. Chamba. Chamba. Present, Mister. Good. Debbie. Present. Jorge Alfredo. Present. Good. Thank you. Okay, the five minutes are over. Do you need more time? Do you need more time? That's okay. More time. More time. More time. Two more minutes. More Two more minutes. Come on, go ahead.
Aprovecho para invitar esta noche a Carlos William Embreño para la sesión de 10 minutos. Carlos, ¿estamos listos? Ok. ¿No hay problema? Ok, good, thank you. Y lo vamos a agendar. Okay, guys, sorry, there is not too much time because it's almost 10 o'clock, right? So we need to, to complete. Don't worry, I will help you. Don't worry, I will help you, right? So number one, volunteers, number one. I repeat, don't worry, I will help you. Yes, Rosibel. Okay. The manager would, would rather ask the... The creative the, team? The, the, the creative team are the launch of the product. Okay. Very good. Almost perfect. Only... Well, the most important part is the manager would rather ask, right? This is perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. And then to finish is the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Mm -hmm. Ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. No, thank you to you, right, for your participation. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Number two, thank you, uh, Vanessa, please. Number two. Okay. Many these distributors would rather much sell or products at a lower price. At a lower price, right? Good. Excellent, Vanessa, that's it, right? Many distributors would rather much, you know, it's a stronger word, rather much sell or product at a, low, a lower, sorry, at a lower price. Many distributors would rather much sell our product at a lower price. That is the answer for number two. Now, number three, please. Yes, Ever? Yes, number three. They would rather withdraw the product in new market than introduce it. Okay, yes, in this case, you can change, right? I have that introduce it in new markets, right? But your answer is correct too. Yes. Okay, good. They would rather withdraw the product that introduce it. No, sorry, it's not that. Dan, sorry, I have a mistake here. Yo, yo me equivoqué aquí, sorry. Give me a second. Vamos a corregir. Give me a second. Dan, it's right than introduce it in new market, right? They would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new markets. Okay? Thank you, thank you very much. Good, number four, please. Number four. Volunteers. Yes, 
Thank you, Debbie. You're my salvation. Thank you. Many companies will write rather operate once the product in the client stage as a premium option. Yes, that's okay. That's okay. I have another order, right? Yo lo tengo en otra orden, pero el suyo está también correcto. Yes, that I would read here. Many companies, Many companies would rather operate. Esa es la parte más importante, okay? Many companies would rather operate at a premium option, at a premium option, once the product in the decline stage. Once the product, no, pero algo está, no me suena bien algo. Give me a second. Algo no me suena bien, David. Déjeme ver, tal vez yo me equivoqué también. Many companies would rather operate. Ahí está bien, ¿verdad? As a premium option, once the product in the... No, sí está bien, sí está bien. Entonces sería, many companies would rather operate at a premium option once the product in the decline stage. Once the product is, oh, sorry, Debbie. Ahí me equivoqué, a mí me equivoqué yo, perdón. <laughs> when the product is, ahí me faltó eso, ¿ok? Hoy sí, sorry, class. Ya el segundo oso que comento, vamos a leerlo lentamente. Many companies would rather operate at a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. And number five, and we finish, right? Oops. It's time. Volunteers? If not, I will give you an answer. Don't worry. No volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price wars. Excelentoso, excelentoso. I will read again, right? Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with a great caution about war prices. Very complicated, right? Totally right. Congratulations, right? So we finished class. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I only, I only stay with Carlos. The rest of you can go to bed, to sleep. Okay? God bless you. Thank Have a good you. night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Okay, Carlos. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine. Thank okay. you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You like football, Carlos? Yes, I like yes, it, but I, I don't play it. Too much? I, I don't play it. You don't play? Oh, but okay. but you only I, watch. I like watch. You only watch? Yes. Okay. And you say you're Barcelonista or Madridista? I, I prefer Barcelona. Oh, okay. oh, so we're okay. Extra bonus for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. So I don't know if you have any question about the class, something that is difficult for you, or an extra oh. explanation. Okay, to the class today uh, about topic would rather. I I'm not sure the would rather when I choose would rather or would like. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I understand your question. Yes. But I will share. I, I will share. This is question number one, right? Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Number one, uh, Carlos, the structure is would like 
los infinity, right? Would like los yes. infinity. This is the, the grammar structure, right? Would okay. like los infinity. And when we use would like, when you want something and you're polite, right? Cuando usted quiere algo y quiere ser amable al pedirlo, ¿sí? Cuando usted quiere algo, le gusta algo, necesita algo, quiere algo, y usted es amable al pedirlo, ¿sí? La expresión okay. would indica amabilidad. Would, ¿sí? Entonces so usted dice, I would like, give me a second here, perdón que aquí me quedo. Okay. I would like, quisiera comer pupusas, quisiera ir a Chalatenango, quisiera vender el producto, ¿verdad? ¿no? Aquí vamos a ahorrarle la R, aprovechando. Ok. Yes. Eh, ellos quisieran retirar el servicio, ¿sí? Entonces, todo esto de would like es querer hacer algo, pero amablemente. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Y la preposición to antecede al verbo, ¿eh? Look, la preposición to antecede al verbo, ¿sí? Por eso se llama infinitivo. Porque es la preposición to, aquí puede verlo, mire. La preposición to más la base del verbo, ¿sí? Entonces, repito, esto lo va a usar, Carlos, cuando usted quiera algo y lo pida amablemente. ¿Sí? Si usted solo dice, yo quiero, ¿eh? como un niño caprichoso, ah, quiero esto, quiero lo otro. Entonces usted solo dice, I like, yo quiero, a mí me gusta. Pero si quiere ser amable, repito, va a usar el modal would. ¿Sí? Y va a usar el infinitivo, que es la preposición to más la base del verbo. ¿Sí? Pero en este caso solo estamos hablando de una opción, just one option, right? Pupusa right. o pupusa, no more, right? ¿Querés comer pupusas? Pero yo quisiera otra cosa. No, solo querés pupusa y punto, ya. Yeah. Ok, no hay más opciones, okay. ya. Yeah. No more options, okay. solo es una cosa. Y usted la está pidiendo amablemente, ok? Ese es el would okay. like. Ahora vamos al would rather. En el would rather, aunque no lo diga, pero hay siempre una opción, hay siempre más Opciones, dijéramos así. Más de uno. Vale. Me ponen las pupusas y me ponen una hamburguesa. O me ponen hamburguesa, pupusa y tacos. Entonces, hay más de dos, no, más de una opción, perdón. More than one option, right? Y right. en este caso, usamos la palabra rather, que quiere decir preferir. ¿Sí? Preferir, rather. Usamos el okay. wood. El would, ¿sí? En el otro no lo usamos, ¿verdad? Aquí no lo usamos, ¿verdad? aquí no está el rather, ¿verdad? Aquí no aparece rather, aquí sí, ¿verdad? Entonces la palabra rather quiere decir preferir una cosa a la otra, ¿sí? Y no usamos sí. la, el infinitivo, solo usamos la base del verbo. Only the base, sí. right? ¿Sí? Teacher, for example, I, I read the menu in a restaurant and I, I have multiple options. Options, yes. I, uh, yeah, and, and I, this is correct. I, I say, I would rather uh, fresh fries, fries. French fries, mm -hmm. okay. French fries, okay. Okay, but, but give me a second, Carlos. But remember that if you have taken a decision, you're reading the menu, right? Usted ya está leyendo el menu, right? And then you say, okay. okay. My decision is French fries, right? Okay? Yes. So you're going to use good like, right? But imagine the, the waiter say, excuse me, Miss, Mr. Mr. Carlos Membreño, excuse me. Uh, what do you prefer? French fries or mashed potatoes? ¿Qué quiere? Mashed potatoes or, or French fries? Entonces, el ministerio ah. le está dando una opción a usted, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Viene usted y le dice, I, I would rather eat uh, french fries. ¿Por qué? Porque es, se está uh, sobredicho que hay la posibilidad de que usted, usted escoja una o la otra cosa, ¿sí? Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Aunque, okay. Si usted, 
por eso el, el contexto es bien importante, ¿verdad? un poquito complicado entender esto, pero el contexto es importante. Sí. A pesar de que hay varias opciones en el menú, usted decide sobre una. Uh -huh. Y son las french fries. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando la pida al mesero, usted ya le habrá dicho al mesero, mire, yo quiero esto y punto, ya no, no hay nada más. ¿Sí? Okay. Pero si se da una situación en la que el mesero le ofrezca a usted dos opciones, si le dice, um, would you rather eat the fresh potato with ketchup o with no ketchup? ¿Ah? Entonces, ya ahí se abre una posibilidad de dos opciones. Y ahí es donde usa rather, ¿sí? ¿Okay? Ah, ok. Es como, como si yo digo, quiero una Coca-Cola y me va a decir, ¿de dieta o no de dieta? Ah, ok, ya yeah, está. Sí. Would you rather eat diet or not diet, right? Ahí es donde está abierta la posibilidad de una opción con la otra, ¿sí? Pero si y usted, respondo a... Usted responde, y, y eh, sería, yes, I would. I would. O, o okay. si le dicen, si no quiere, entonces, no, I rather, I would rather not. ¿Verdad? Si es que es de sí o no. O si la persona le dice, what would you rather eh, drink? Ah, y le está dando la opción de algo o lo otro, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí usted le dice, I rather drink a Fanta, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Sí? Okay. O sea, pero no básicamente, no ocupo, no ocupo claro, va, solo esto le voy a poner. Y uh -huh. Cuando hay la posibilidad de más de una opción, rather. Pero cuando solo es una opción, would like. ¿Sí? Okay. Y ya le dije, la estructura es diferente. En el would like usa sí, el sí. infinitivo con la preposición to. Y en el would rather solo usa la base del verbo. ¿Ok? Okay. Uh, remember, Carlos, that this PowerPoint presentation, I will send this presentation to the group, to the WhatsApp group. Yes. After I finish with you, immediately I send the, the presentation to the group. So you can review again okay. the information yes. if you want. But I, I have to ask you, do you understand now the difference? Yes, I, I understand the difference. Good. Wait, wait, I... I come to ask. Okay, give me two examples. Give me two examples. With would like and with would rather. Two examples. Okay. Um, for example, I'm going to the grocery stores mm -hmm. and I say, I would like um, uh, chetos. Good. That's it, right? Now, okay. the second example. And now, uh, in, in the same place, I, 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 I order, uh, I would like a beer. I would and rather. I would, I, I would like a beer. And this okay. salesperson tell me, you would rather. Would uh, you rather, would, would you rather, uh, would you rather. Would, would you rather a uh, uh, Pilsener or, or, or something. Right? <laughs> or okay. <laughs> yes. In, okay. In my, uh, in my answer is, I would rather. Regia. Regia, ok. <laughs> Excelente. That's ok. We're not, we're not promoting <laughs> beer, right? But that's ok. La, la grandota, okay. la de los hombres. De ese... <laughs> ok, good. Yes. Excelente, Carlos. Excelente. Very good. So, any extra question, Carlos? Mm, I don't. No, Something that is no, difficult for you. The stages, eh, los pasos del. De la vida del producto los entendió, Carlos. Yes, 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 ah, yes, okay. ya los había visto. Good, good. Okay, very good. So, to finish okay. my recommendations for you, Carlos, do you have Netflix? Yes. Okay, please watch movies in English with subtitles in English, right? My recommendation, please. Right. Also, okay. you can go to YouTube and listen to music with lyrics. Lyrics means con la letra de la canción, right? Right. Please, please. If you okay. have in your mind that you have to see one movie every week and one song every week, my goodness, you will, your English is going to go up, right? You're going to improve a lot. Right. I know you work, okay. Carlos. I know it's difficult some time to dedicate time, but 
in this moment that you are taking this English course, it's absolutely necessary you practice extra uh, information, extra practice, right? And music right. and movies, come on, it's perfect, right? And one more thing, if you like to read, si le gusta leer, in YouTube, uh -huh. we have yeah. audio books. You go to the option, it says audio books, you know, audio books, right? Okay. And there are books of, for example, last time I was reading El, El Principito, right? Okay. And then you go only YouTube. Solo vaya a YouTube y le pone audio books. No audio libro, because okay. you're going to see in Spanish, right? In English, it's okay. audio books. And Carlos, okay. you're going to have a wide uh, chance of, or opportunity to practice your English, right? Right. Good. Any extra question, Carlos? Mm, not for the moment. No, for the moment. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a, okay, thank a, you. a good night. And I want uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, right? Right. Okay. Bye bye. Good God night. Bless. Thank you. Bye bye.